Have you ever had a moment where you're literally just sat down? You're revising, you're working, you're studying, whatever it is you're doing, and you really start getting into it. You start really focusing. You have zero distractions. Your mind doesn't drift off at all. It's almost as if you enter the zone, the flow state. And then you look up at the time and you realize you've just done a bunch of hours of revision. Completely focus. But this is rare. It's a rare occurrence. It happens like once a blue moon. Usually when you revise, you get distracted. You go on your phone. So how can you do this more often? How can you get into that flow state more often? You see, there are a lot of things that I've learned on my journey on being on self-improvement for two years now. But I also read the book Deep Work. And this has also helped me understand a lot of new things which I'm going to reveal to you how I enter a flow state every single day. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good. I hope you've been all right. So there's something that I need you to understand. There are two known concepts known as deep work and shallow work. Now, deep work is when the work that you're doing needs full cognitive function. You need to focus. You can't have any distractions. You have to sit down and really focus about it. And then you have shallow work, which you don't. It's the opposite. You can get away with not really focusing 100%. Maybe it's actually the task that you do whilst you're procrastinating. Maybe you're going to fold your clothes or tidy your room. The shallow work. It's still work, but it's stuff you don't need your full focus on. So it's shallow work. Now, there is also something known as the new law of productivity. The amount of information you can actually digest is limited by the amount of time you can focus. It's why multitasking is not a thing. You can multitask loads of different things at once, but how much of the information are you actually digesting and actually remembering and getting into your head? If you really want to do something and be productive at it, you've got to focus on that one thing and try not have any distractions. Known as deep work. Now, I do my deep work. So for me, it is YouTube. It's YouTube, editing, filming, recording, all that kind of stuff. I do that in the morning. And to make sure I enter a flow state so I can focus on the deep work, I have no distractions, is coffee. Well, not really coffee. It's caffeine. I don't drink coffee for the taste of coffee. I do not like coffee. It does not taste nice. It is bitter. It is gross. It is... It's just... Does, it's not nice. So I don't ever drink coffee like, oh, can I get a fucking macchiato? Can I have a fucking double whip frappuccino with extra caramel and extra caramel and minus a shot? So just caramel. Like, I, I don't ever, like, ask for, like, coffee like that. If I ask for a coffee, it'll either be an espresso or just black. Black Americano. The reason is, is not like, oh, I only drink black, or, no, nah, that's not why. The only reason I drink black coffee is because I don't like coffee. I drink it, I wait for it to cool down, then I down it all at once. I drink coffee for the caffeine, and I will only ever have caffeine if I'm about to do some deep work. When you have caffeine into your system, and then you sit down and start doing the, th the deep work you're trying to do, and you want to do it with no distractions for a couple hours, ideal time three to five hours that caffeine basically allows you to enter a flow state way way easier however i only ever do this if i'm about to do deep work i never have caffeine on any other reason because i get jittery i have to sit down and do some work otherwise the caffeine is just useless but then one of the best things that i've learned to actually getting into flow state and actually staying and working in deep work and actually you know, in entering that zone and focusing without any distractions, it's a lot simpler than you think. And you can definitely do it. There are three things. Set up a routine, value your downtime, and then get rid of all distractions. Social media, mainly. Now the first one, set up a routine, set up a time where you do your deep work. See, I always do mine in the morning. I get up at six, I'll do it all until 12, and then 12 or after 12 is when I start getting on my other parts of my day. I'm now so used to this routine where this is something that I always do when I wake up at this certain time. I, I'm used to like, oh, I feel like I need to be do, doing something. Oh yeah, my deep work, my editing. Maybe for you it's a revision. Maybe for you it's something else. I have to read that book. Gym, maybe. It could be anything for you. Next one is value your downtime. You can't sit for eight hours doing deep work. It is hard. I mean, you can do it, but not that whole eight hours of information is actually going to go into your head. Value your downtime. Have breaks. 
okay? But when you have breaks, go off and do shallow work. You know, shallow work that you don't need to focus on. You know, I'm say for example, I'll be editing, you know, hour, hour and 30. After an hour and 30 minutes, I'm like, you know what? Take a break, go drink some water. I'll go clean up my room a bit. I'll fold up my clothes. Maybe I'll hoover the house a bit. Take 30 minutes to sort of walk around, relax, get my brain going again. And then I'll get back to it. Split up your deep work with your shallow work. Give yourself breaks. And by far, the best thing that's helped me getting into a flow state, including coffee, right? It's also distractions. Get rid of social media. Just don't work with your phone. Simple. It's very, very simple, but it is genuinely as easy as that. Just put your phone somewhere else, work on your laptop, and make it where your laptop only has the thing that you want to do, only has that certain type of work you're trying to do. My laptop only has my editing software. That is it, nothing else. I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right, and I hope, I hope, yeah, I just hope you've been all right, man. And I'll be really appreciative if you clicked on the video in the corner, because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, come here. I'm gonna move my ass. Self-improvement kids.